hi guys welcome back to my channel so I am back from my first year of medical school if you've been following me you know after my bikini prep or during my bikini prep I found out that I got into medical school and I had to take a break from YouTube for a while because school is number one in my life but I am back this summer bringing you guys so many of my new workouts I consistently worked out throughout the whole year and I feel like I am the leanest and happiest with my fitness lifestyle that I've ever been in my entire life after bikini prep I switched the way I was working out I do a lot more circuit workouts now and I'm really really happy with the progress that I've seen with them so I know my channel before has been a lot more vlogs and full days day in the lives but honestly being a busy busy woman I have found that I like channels that are straight to the point tell me the workouts tell me the full day of eating and they get to it so that's what I'm gonna bring you guys this summer I'm gonna show you guys all my workouts all my favorites all my favorite foods and maybe throw some vlogs in as we go so to begin I'm going to start off my first video back with a wonderful wonderful plyo leg day workout and I can't wait to share it with you guys so let's get to the gym Hi guys, so I am loving watching workout footage with voiceovers, so I'm going to try to make sure that I'm doing a lot of voiceovers this summer. So let's just jump right into the workout. So like I mentioned, I love doing circuit workouts. I love getting my heart rate up. This workout made me sweat a lot. So it's kind of like I am semi weightlifting, not as heavy as usual, semi doing cardio at the same time. So knocking out two birds with one stone and I really like that, especially with a busy lifestyle like myself and I know a lot of you guys out there are in school, working full-time jobs, etc. So you guys need a quick, fun workout. This took me about 30 minutes to 40 minutes to do, probably more towards the 30 minutes if I wasn't messing with my camera so much. But um, I just started off my first workout with squat variations of squats squat jumps and then I went right into stiff leg deadlifts. So I completed the circuit about three times and then in between each time I rested for about 30 seconds to 40 seconds and then in between each different circuit I do about a two minute um, break and I get some water and then I start the next one. So this next circuit is the most difficult for myself. I'm working on these jumps. I'm not good at them at all but I'm working on them and if they're hard that means it's gonna get my heart rate up. So I just did my 10 squat to lunge jumps and then followed by crab walks. I repeated that three times. So this next circuit is pretty fun. It's all about hamstrings and hip thrusts. So to begin, I'm just doing these hamstring tucks with the medicine ball. It's hard to stabilize yourself. If you need to hold on to your lower back, you can as well. And then I moved on to the single leg hip thrust. I did about 10 each with each leg. And then I followed that by normal hip thrust with both feet on the ground. and you thought we were just laying on the ground relaxing for a little bit. Nope, I added some mountain climbers to spike my heart rate at the end of this little circuit just to make sure my heart rate was staying elevated throughout this whole entire workout. And for a little bit of an extra challenge, I added the resistance band around my knees and I added another dumbbell on my hips. What I love about circuits is that it's really modifiable to any fitness level. So whether you are someone who's been lifting for four years like myself, um, or you're just beginning, this workout still gets my heart rate up or it's easy to complete without any machines at all. Now this next circuit is a perfect example of something that you can modify. So I did eight lunge kickbacks on each leg. Now if you are someone with not so good balance, 
Um, you don't have to do the kickback. You could just step back and do a lunge each time. I know sometimes I got a little wobbly. And then after that, I did 15 in and out jump squats. Now to finish off this workout, I'm just going to be doing these donkey kickbacks and I use a 10 pound weight behind my knee to do them and I try to pause a little bit and squeeze at the top of each movement and then I superset it with some leg raises. If you're someone like me that doesn't necessarily have a whole ab workout or an ab day, um, I like to throw in a couple ab exercises with every day that I work out. Um, I do these at the end with minimal rest in between each circuit just to really hone in and burn out those glutes. So this is gonna be the end of the workout today. If you guys have any requests on anything you'd like to see, let me know in the comments below, and thanks for watching.